What's up guys, Fluff Daddy here. We're uh, gonna be doing some work today. We're gonna be trying out a glass gleam again. I think I might have figured out how to actually use it. Come with me and we'll check it out. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the actual glass gleam to the water. Uh, the instructions say a quarter of an ounce per gallon or you could do one ounce for, for uh, every three gallons. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got some water down here. Got three gallons of water, I'm gonna add an ounce. It's got a perfect measuring thing on this top here. Uh, I've also got the glide that goes with it. Uh, so I'm gonna use this also so we can get a perfect um, measurement and, and get quality results. We'll see how it goes. All right, so here we are. I'm getting ready to add this in here. Uh, so we're going to do three gallons. So we'll need one ounce, which is right there. What you do is you measure it. Just squeeze it out to the top there. Like that. And get an ounce. Don't squeeze the bottle again. That's what it looks like. Is only use a tenth for each gallon uh, and these are in milliliters uh, that's a half an ounce so that's a whole ounce it says use a tenth of an ounce so it's very very little so what I'll do uh, my measurement skills suck so what I'll probably do is a little before the five or a little after the five five milliliters sorry the bottles look nasty all right We'll just do right at 15. How about that? And it looks all milky and stuff. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the uh, the wagtail little swivel tool that I have here. This is a, a slim line with a flick pad uh, because I wanna make sure that, uh, I wanna give you a, a, an honest opinion using a swivel tool. And I'm gonna be using uh, one of my regular squeegees or this one. I don't know, it just depends on which one I want to use. So um, let's see how that works. And when I'm mixing, mixing this stuff up, I want to use uh, something like this. And I got a bug in there. Get out of there. That way it's not like all saturated on one side of my strip washer. I don't know. I don't know if it makes any difference or not. That's just what I'm doing. All right, let's put that in there too. Okay, all right. Let's try it with our, our applicator here, strip washer, washer, whatever you want to call it. Use this super channel. All right. Let's see. Yeah. I could use this every day. It's a pretty good glide on there. It's not the same as dish soap, but it's it's right there at it. Just remember, no overlapping. Cause that's the way this stuff works. I overlapped a little right there and I got a little resistance. Fingerprint there. I think I've got it. Yeah. In a nutshell, it's just soap. It works like soap, um, just about like soap. Uh, my favorite is Dawn still, but uh, this stuff does work. And it's whatever you're, you're comfortable with working. If you wanna try some out, don't buy a gallon like I did. Uh, just get a pint or uh, whatever the smallest amount you can get and try that. Sometimes these companies, all you gotta do is contact them and they'll send you a trial, trial, uh, trial bit 
for you to try out. So uh, that way you're not committed to a a, a large amount. Uh, so anyway, give it a try. It seems to work for me. It makes the windows look very, very nice. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you break out in hives without your fluffy fix, check out his channel, Fluff Daddy, on YouTube.